Now that we got our CPU installed, the next thing that we want to install is the CPU cooler, also known as the heat sink or just the basic cooler. So, what came in my box are these two parts. These are for Intel motherboards. We got an AMD, so we don't need that. What we do need, though, is this, the only other thing that came in here, and this is... Um, I call it heat sink grease. People call it thermal grease. Go ahead and tear this open. I don't need to show you guys how to tear it open. You guys probably figure that out. And what we're going to want to do is apply it right here. So apply it right there. And spread it across just like that. And what this is going to do is make sure that once this touches your CPU it's going to give you a nice tight cool connection and it's going to make sure it stays cool so go ahead and spread that on there just like that now let me get rid of this and we want to go ahead and place this down right here now there are two little clips in two little brackets on your motherboard go ahead and hang one clip on your motherboard just like that and take the other clip they're gonna be there we go easy Bessie now our CPU cooler is locked in now this this is a uh, different than an Intel motherboard. On an Intel motherboard there are four plugs on either side and buttons you press in too but on an AMD it has a built in bracket so um, that's how we do that. Again clip it to one side apply thermal grease Do apply the thermal grease before clip it to one side hang it over to the other side clip it in and it actually was a lot tougher than uh, I remember it being so um, once we do that, we can go ahead and hook it up to our motherboard. Go ahead and take this off. And this little thing is our CPU plug for our CPU fan. Now there's going to be a little thing on your motherboard. And if you read it, it says CPU fan. So, why don't you put A and B together? Go ahead and plug that baby in. Make sure you don't bend any pins. And it should plug in. Um, make sure this wire is out of the way. You actually might want to put your rubber band back on, which I'm going to do right now. Just to make sure that nothing gets in the way of your fan. So, now we installed our CPU fan, we are ready to move on to the next component.